In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Video Kiosk's integrated cloud update feature to remotely and automatically update your digital signage. Let's get started. Every time you update your digital signage, you'll need to move your new media files from the computer you're using to manage Video Kiosk to your Android device. There's a couple of ways you can do that. You can connect them with a USB cable and use Android File Transfer to copy them over, or you can have Video Kiosk move them for you using the integrated Cloud Update feature. Cloud Update will run automatically, checking for updates once every hour and downloading any changes, and you can set it up in a few easy steps. Step 1. Create a Video Kiosk folder on your cloud drive. In this video, I'm going to use Google Drive. Step 2. Configure the Video Kiosk Cloud Update settings with the cloud folder location. Step 3. Create a Video Kiosk folder on your Android device. Step 4. Configure the Video Kiosk Cloud Update settings with the local folder location. Step 5. Verify your settings. And step 6. Enable downloading. Here's each step in detail. Step 1. Move your video kiosk folder to your cloud drive. If you haven't already done so, create the folder. I created this one by downloading the sample media pack from our website and putting it on my Google Drive. Step 2. On your Android device, configure the settings with the cloud folder location. To do this, go to the Video Kiosk Settings. Open Cloud Drive Settings. Go to Google Drive folder. Use the file navigation to select the Cloud Source folder. It will be displayed as the current folder at the top of the screen. Then tap Choose. Step 3. If you haven't already done so, create a Video Kiosk folder on your Android device. Go to Path to Local Folder. From the Ellipse menu, select New Folder. Enter the folder name and tap OK. Step 4. On your Android device, configure the settings with the local folder location. Go to Path to Local Folder. And use the file navigation to select the local folder. It will be displayed at the top of the screen. Tap Confirm. Step 5. Verify your settings. Before you continue, take a moment to verify your settings. Go to Cloud Drive Info and check that the folder locations are correct. To return to the previous screen, press OK. Step 6. After you have verified that your settings are correct, enable downloading. Now that you've set up downloading, Make any changes to the files on your cloud folder and Video Kiosk will download the changes to your Android device at the next download interval. If you want to download right now, tap the Video Kiosk screen. Download will begin immediately. Here are some important points about Cloud Update. By default, Video Kiosk checks for new files to download every hour, but you can change the download interval in the settings. You don't have to think about shutting down and restarting Video Kiosk when you update the media files. Video Kiosk updates on the fly, meaning that the media is replaced while Video Kiosk is still running. It will just run the new content the next time it runs the loop. You can use the same cloud folder to update any number of Video Kiosks. Just follow the steps above for each Android device. Here's a technical note. File synchronization refers to a computing process that updates data in one location with the data in another location using certain rules. There's two-way peer-to-peer file sync. There's one-way backup to the cloud. And there's one-way download from the cloud, also called mirroring. Video Kiosk is a one-way file synchronization download from the cloud. And there's two things you should be aware of whenever you're using a mirroring process. First, it will update your Android devices from the cloud, 
but will not update the cloud with what's on your Android devices. Second, always make the changes in the cloud source folder and not on the device because Cloud Update mirrors the cloud source folder onto the devices, any changes made by you on the device, but not in the cloud, will be replaced by the contents of the cloud source folder the next time it updates. You might not be aware of this, but if you use a Gmail account to download video kiosks from the Play Store, you have a Google Drive account, whether you use it or not. For help finding it, Go to the Android Basics tutorial on our site. You'll find the link below. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment.